Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley. I'm just calling, coming at you with another review video. Today I'd like to talk to you about The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Um, it's a Netflix original. It's created by the creators of Riverdale. It's based on the comic book Archie series. And it's nothing at all like the Sabrina from the 90s. Um, it's not bubbly, it's not light, it's very dark, twisted, um, it has a really excellent story, they really don't, the shock value is really great. Um, the first season was excellent, but the second season, or the part one was really, really, really good. And then the part two is excellent. They went so far above and beyond to make an excellent part two. Um, and, like, they put a lot of energy and budget into it. I mean, at least that's what it looks like anyway. Um, <clears throat> there's really no boundaries with that show, which is really awesome. And it's a continuous progressive story. I love all the characters in their own way. I'm not going to give anything away. No spoilers. I'm not a spoiler kind of person. Because, you know, you should watch it. That's what it's there for. Um, but, like I said, all the characters were really awesome. The story is excellent. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Which is really good, because it's not one of those um, hardcore preaching, satanic cult stuff, and all this other stuff. It's very lighthearted when it comes to that kind of stuff, um, which is good. And it's... I'm really glad that they've already renewed it a lot. So we can look forward to more stories being told and everything. And it, it, even though there's only 8 to 10 episodes for each part, it's still great. They pack so much stuff into it, so much story, so much twists and turns that go on. Um, I really, really love everybody in the show. It's my favorite character is Hilda, though. She is so sweet. She can be really shady sometimes in a really um, hysterical way. And um, I, I really love her. She's a really, really excellent character. I think that the show needs it with all the dark content that's there. But still, I think that they do an excellent job with all the balancing between the light and the dark. And it is, um, it's definitely not a show for children. There's a lot of cutthroat things and a lot of, um, a lot of dark things that are in it. It's nothing at all like the other Sabrina. But it, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is more based on the source material versus the bubbly teenage witch version which that's fine because i watched that version too and everyone has their own um taste when it comes to shows and everything <clears throat> and that one lasted like seven seasons and it was it was fun for its time um but this one this one is more more of its source more I don't know. It just has that wow factor. It doesn't have the, oh, it's just another cool show, I guess. And, you know, kind of done with it and forget about it. It's one of those shows where you're like, I cannot believe that that just happened. Especially with, like, the, the end, especially it was shocking for part one, but the, the, they upped the shock factor for part two by a lot like you you wouldn't expect it you wouldn't see it coming i didn't at least but and when you find out you're just like oh my god but 
Um, it's an excellent show. So if you haven't seen it, you should. Not with children, um, because it's not it's not a light show. It's very dark, but it's a lighthearted dark. It doesn't take itself too seriously, but it does touch on, you know, like instead of praise God, it's praise Satan kind of thing. So, but you'd have to watch it to get it. So, and even though, because it's not a preachy show and it doesn't take itself seriously, I think that um, even if you have faith of any kind, you can still watch the show because it, it does still have a good story and it, it is lighthearted. It's not preaching anything. So it's not something that, you, I mean, everyone takes offense to something. So you might think that it's offensive, whatever. That's your problem. And, um, but I highly recommend it. Check it out. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, all the characters are awesome. The story's awesome. I mean, the quality of the show is awesome. And I'm not surprised because one of my other favorite shows is Riverdale that airs on the CW. And Riverdale is so good, also based on the Archie comics. And it is such an amazing show. Like, there's so many twists and turns and the shock value is up there and the acting is excellent and you're really caring and invested in the story and the characters and everything. So I'm not shocked at all that Sabrina, that's the only thing that's not shocking about Sabrina is the fact that it is so good because it came from the same creators of Riverdale and Riverdale was amazing. So, but other than that, I think that, um, I think that Sabrina is so good because Netflix really does not care about limitations. It does not care about censorship. It does not care about any of that extra nonsense that TV cares about. If TV didn't care like Netflix, I think that they'd see a huge up in ratings because they could add so much more content, so much more of everything really um <clears throat> but sadly they don't but hey netflix is here and netflix has sub shows like sabrina um the chilling adventures of sabrina i mean <clears throat> not to be confused with the teenage witch version um and i am so incredibly excited about part three because the ending of part two was not only shocking, but it l leaves you with, of course, a cliffhanger, but, um, I mean, not a cliffhanger, but it just, it's, it ends off where you're just like, oh my God, get on with season, with part three already. And <clears throat> part three is going to be really exciting, guys. Part three is going to be phenomenal because... If they up their game again and the way that the story is heading, literally, it opens up a lot of doors, literally. Um, it has the potential to be so incredible, one of the best shows. And there's a lot of potential for that because they demonstrated it with this part too because they upped their game. I, I love how shows start out with season one, of course. And season one has to be the slow season. They have to introduce characters and everything. But they don't really have to introduce characters with Sabrina because the content has been around since the Archie comics decades ago. And then, of course, the Teenage Witch lasted seven seasons. So, obviously millions and millions and millions of people know the characters already, but they know them as their light versions. This is their dark versions. So, or, you know, in a dark world instead of a light world. Um, so, 
they didn't have to waste time with introducing and all this other stuff. They got right into it. It flowed. The style of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is really excellent because it has its own specific style, just like um, Riverdale does from the CW, which is based off the Archie comics just like this. <clears throat> and I'm really excited about the the future of it because there's just so many possibilities so much potential and it just keeps getting better it's crazy it's crazy so if you haven't already check it out um and you know if you like my review about it if you watch it comment let's talk about it because there's so much to talk about no spoilers though um and, you know, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and until next time.